Today we are going to demonstrate how to perform maintenance on the Civicon T196 SV Vapor Recovery Vent. Let's begin by removing the vent cap using a wrench. Remove the O-ring. Carefully remove piston from valve housing using a pair of locking pliers. Remove the bolt using a 9 inch socket. Once the bolt has been unscrewed, slowly lift the spring to prevent it from dangerously projecting out of the vent body. Lift housing and inspect to make sure there is no damage. Remove and replace gasket seal. Remove old O-ring and wiper. Clean out bore and O-ring grooves. Install new O-ring and wiper. Apply lubricant throughout bore and O-rings. Lubricate poppet. Attach vent body to poppet. Insert new poppet spring, spring guide, and lock washer into shaft bore. Using a 9 16th socket wrench, gently press poppet spring into shaft bore and tighten the bolt to 22 foot pounds. Add two fluorosilicone seals onto the new piston and thoroughly lubricate. Insert piston into shaft bore. Replace O-ring in top of body. Then screw on cap and tighten. Replace O-ring in O-ring groove of the flange. Five-inch tube is installed in the exhaust port at a horizontal or decreasing angle. Be sure the tube is not facing up or bent when installing. Now let's test the vent to ensure there are no breaches in the seals by first inserting a plug into the middle sequential port and then installing an air hose into the top actuating port. Apply air to actuating port, minimum 60 PSI, to fully open and close pop it. While the vent is pressurized, test for any leaks around the cap, pop it shaft, and exhaust fitting by spraying soapy water on these areas. If no bubbles appear, then there are no leaks and the test is successful. To learn more about the T196SV Vapor Vent, visit www.civicon.com.